Uh, George Rosa, incredible performance from Genebeck in there tonight. Yeah, he's a brilliant fighter. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, great to see him live and, and just see how good he actually is. Um, you know, I was really proud of Andre and the, the heart that he showed to, to come back from where he was at. But, Ladies and gentlemen, you know, just back amazing. The Andre did everything right in there. He, he, he put the pressure on, he came forward, he closed the distance, but Genebeck sort of, he worked it out in the end. You get caught at range with, with Genebeck and, uh, and it shows just how much better he is than, than everybody else in the world. He's, he really is amazing. Um, but I thought, you know, I thought Andre didn't really executed the plan very well. And considering where he was at in the second round, in the second round he wasn't on this planet for a, for a short period, and he managed to come back, implement the strategy. Uh, I thought he did it really well for those those few rounds. He just, mate, Genebeck's just so good. Well, where do you see Andre? What, what does Andre do now? Do you think? Like recover first and foremost. Uh, he took a lot of big shots in that in that fight, so definitely recover first and foremost. But. There's a lot of guys in this region that he would, uh, uh, I think he put on a great performance with, so I'd love to see him fight again. How do you look back on, on the week? It's like a privilege to have a guy like Janabek over here. Yeah, absolutely. A guy who, you know, I, I think if he got the opportunity to fight a lot more people, he'd be considered one of the pound for pound guys in the in the world. So um, he's a, you know, and they were great to work with. So, you know, the fact that they came all the way out here to Australia, put on a performance and got the win, you know, credit to them and their team and um, I spoke to Igus after the fight and he said that's one nil for us. I said I'm going to make a one all in a, in a couple of weeks. Speaking of Igus, he um, said that Tim Zhu hasn't, hasn't fought anyone like Bakram Motuzulayev. Uh, thoughts on that? Well he hasn't fought Bakram Motuzulayev and that's probably the, the only part that you can take from that comment. He hasn't fought Bakram, that's true. And he'll, uh, he'll show what he does against a guy like Backram, so uh, we'll, we'll let the, the performance in the ring speak for itself in a few weeks' time. Tim Zhu is in really good shape. Nikita Zhu. Nikita Zhu, um, hand injury, Glenn Jennings said yesterday, Nikita surgery today. Um, how long would Nikita be out for, do you think? Uh, look, as soon as he's ready to go, he'll be straight back in the ring. As um, soon as they say that he wants to get in, we love putting Nikita on. Nikita's one of the great draw cards in Australia, one of the great entertainers in Australia, so we'll get him straight back in there as soon as he wants to be in. And um, They're very smart with their recovery and their, and their, um, their training plan, so uh, I've got no doubt that as soon as they pick the right time, we'll pick the right fight. Saw Semi Goodman up there. A um, few rumours out today. Um, Christmas Eve in Japan. Um, where do things go from here? Did we announce that one yet? No, nah, a few rumours online. But, I was just about um, to give you the exclusive. Yeah. I'll save that one then. I'll save that Real one. Well. But what needs to happen to sort of make that fight happen? Um, yeah, look, oh, we're hoping to have an uh, announcement for you very soon. I think, um, you know, Sam's very happy with where they're at and where their preparation's at, and I'm sure he would have spoke uh, a fair bit about that there tonight. But he's, um, yeah, he's pumped. For his, this is an opportunity he's been waiting for for a long time, so... We're looking forward to being able to, to share some news soon, hopefully. Orlando next. Orlando next, you coming? <laughs> I am. I'll see you there. See you there.